Lord, here in these old mountains, throughout the years, over the decades and centuries, there's so much history. Inside that history is a whole mess of superstitions, old mountain cures, signs, and of course, old wife tales. When a beekeeper dies, put a black ribbon around the hive, and the bees will know the owner has passed away. When the sun is shining, and it's raining, the old devil's beating his wife. When giving birth, put a mighty sharp knife, or a mighty sharp axe underneath the mattress, It'll cut the pain in two. Thunder on bare trees. Mean snow on green leaves. Whenever you give somebody a sharp tool or a pocket knife or anything sharp, I always give them a coin. At least it'll cut the friendship in two. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning while riding over a railroad in a car with a passenger. When you go across the tracks, lift both your legs for good luck. If an old hoot owl perches in a tree closest to the house and comes three consecutive nights in a row of hooting, it means somebody's going to die. The old folks believed that you could make that old owl go away by tying a knot in your bed sheet and yanking on it. Said it would strangle it and make it go away. So you could do the same thing with the old screech owl. Bend your pinky finger and mash the last knuckle and it would have the same effect. Never throw bread, even the stale bread in a far, or you'll be feeding the old devil. If cows out in the pastures are laying down, it means it's going to rain or come a bad storm. If you go across a state line in a vehicle or a train or anything like that, uh, always hood your feet up for good luck. If not, it's bad luck for the rest of the year. If you hang your shoes on the back of a chair, you'll have a headache. Never throw salt in a far. There's somebody you know will have a toothache. If you stand a broom in the corner after somebody you don't like leaves the house, they won't ever come back. If your knee itches, means you're going to be going somewhere you've never been before. If a broom falls for no reason, you can expect company for the next moon. If you set an extra plate for supper, accidentally, you can expect an extra guest for dinner. Other folks believe that if you set an extra plate for supper accidentally, you meet somebody that recently passed is stopping by to visit to watch over you. If you get a random cold chill, somebody's walked over your grave. Or in other parts of the mountains, if you got a cold chill, folks would say a possum has run over your grave. If your ears turn red or starts a burning, Means somebody's gossiping about you. If you get your shirt wet while you're washing dishes, but not your apron, it means you'll marry a drunk. If your right hand itches, you'll be getting money. But if your left hand itches, you'll be giving some away. If you have a bad dream, 
And if you tell it to somebody before breakfast, it'll come true. In other parts of the mountains, folks believe that if you wait till after breakfast to tell it, it'll come true. If you swat a young'un with a broom, they'll grow up lazy. If you dig a post hole in the old of the moon, you'll have plenty of dirt left over. But now if you dig it in the growing of the moon, you'll not have near enough dirt to fill that hole back in nor set the post. If you sing just for supper, you'll cry for bedtime. hat on the bedpost is mighty bad luck. For every fog in August is how many snows you'll have the following winter. If somebody sweeps around your feet, you'll never be married. If the old bees build their nest mighty low, it's a sure sign of a hard winter to come. Deaths come in threes. Don't speak a name around a writing spider, nor its web, or else they'll write the name of the person you said, and they'll die. Whistling a tune on the Sabbath causes the angels to weep. If somebody in the house passes, Cover up all the mirrors and open the windows. If you kill an old snake and throw it over the fence, it'll rain within three days. Never sweep your yard or it'll rain. Many of folks but I can't believe if you went out and sweep in the yard it rain for long. Anytime you ever have company or something other like that and they go to leave, don't ever watch anybody out of sight or else it's bad luck for you and them. A lot of times back in the old days, if you caught somebody sweeping their house or something like that, if you notice they always swept from the front door to the back. They said it was sweeping out the bad luck. But if you swept from the back door to the front, it was bringing it in. And if they was ever sweeping, they never swept right out the front door. Back in, folks believed it. If you swept out the front door, there'd be a death in the family. Here it is, most of us dreams. And I've heard a lot of folks say that they don't dream at all. Say they've never remembered having a dream. But for the ones that do, they've always said that if you dream of somebody who is deceased, and in the dream they're alive. It's a sign of a wedding. They also believed that if you dreamed of blood, muddy water, or eggs, it was a sign of something very bad going to happen. Now, a whole lot of folks had all kinds of kittens and things like that. But now I've always heard that if a grown cat suddenly just starts playing, changing its character, it's a real sign of weather changing. If your nose itches, the first person you think of will soon visit. If a woman's lip itches, 
I said that was always a sign that she was going to kiss a man with a mustache. If you're sitting at the eating table, you drop a spoon. That means the woman's going to visit. And if you drop the fork, they say it's a sign of a man be visited. Now here's one I've heard all my life. I've heard many people say it, not just in my family, but heard a lot of old timers say it. They said that if you see a hoot owl in the daytime, it's a mighty bad sign. Something extra bad, I mean real bad, like a, a death or something. Or just real, real bad luck. It's gonna happen. I remember seeing folks, I mean, just worried plumb to death and somebody asked them what was wrong. And they said they seen a hoot owl. If the leaves on the trees are showing their undersides, it's a sure sign of a rain or an old storm coming. Back in the old days, folks back in, they either rode a horse or rode a buggy or a whole mess of folks used to walk everywhere they went. You know like when you're out walking and you get a stitch in your side, you know like a sharp pain. Folks back in called it a stitch. Well, they say if you're going out walking or something other and you get a stitch, they said to pick up a rock and find you one that's got a flat side on it. You spit on that, you place it back down, spit side down, and just keep on walking. And said it would stop very quickly. Here's one. I know most older folks will tell you, never wash your clothes on Sunday or it's bad luck. I know it's the Sabbath and a whole lot of folks won't even cook. I'm, you know, I remember growing up and everything. My granny, you know, we'd have leftovers and stuff on Sunday. She wouldn't hardly do a narrow thing. If an old dog lays in the doorway, half in, half out, it's a sign of somebody will be moving. I've heard this told a few different ways. Now, I've also heard that if an old dog lays in your doorway, if he's facing out toward the yard, somebody close by will be moving out. And if he's facing in, somebody will be moving in close by for long. You know, when it starts to get around fall of the year and things like that, in the summer and things, you start seeing old woolly worms. Especially around fall of the year and stuff, they always said that if you see an old woolly worm crawling, some folks say the darker it is, whereas others say the more rings it has, shows that it's going to be a long, hard winter. If you're right-handed, never pour your water left-handed or you will go dry. Or same way if you're left-handed, you never pour it right-handed. Here's one they always told the young'uns back in, mostly the gals. But so you go out into the yard and say, Lord, give me a glance of my true love to be. You take five steps, lean on one heel, and spin around three times. And you look down. And if you find a hair in that spot where you just spin around, whatever color that hair is will be the color of the hair of the person you'd marry. These old Appalachian mountains are as old as time. Lord knows, they full of some mighty good folks. 
good down home folks with mighty big hearts. They love their Lord, love their kin, friends, neighbors, doing what they could to get by day to day. And there's so much history in these old mountains. And inside that history, there's a whole lot of old sayings and beliefs and things like that. So let's take a look at some of them. For every fog in February, there'd be a frost in May. If it rains the first three days of June, there won't be any berries. If chicken stays out in the rain, it'll rain all day. But if they run up none or something, the rain will be short. If an old cat sleeps when it's back to the far, bad weather's coming. If an old cat just suddenly out of nowhere just starts a plan, acting real feisty and frisky and things, that means the weather's going to change. And one thing about these old sands and things like that, there's a whole mess of them throughout these old mountains. And some of them varies and differs, you know, depending on what parts of the mountains you go. But there's so many of them. And then these folks, I, I believe in myself. We believe them with all our hearts. If leaves show their underside, sign of rain. Smoke going straight up out of a chimney means pretty weather. The smoke going down across the ground means bad weather's coming. They say if you kill an old snake, you droop it over the fence and it'll rain. If you gift a pocket knife or anything sharp to somebody, always at least give them a penny or something. Or it'll cut the friendship in two. If Sky Woman dresses in scarlet, the next day will be mighty pretty. If your palm itches, you'll get money. I've heard that a couple of different ways. I've also heard that if your right palm itches, you'll be getting money. If your left an itches, you'll be giving it away. If your ears is burning, somebody's talking about you. If you drop a fork on the floor, somebody's a coming hungry. I've also heard that and heard that, you know, if you drop a fork, there'll be a man person coming to visit. Or if you drop a spoon, It'll be a woman person. You can mention a name while you're talking. Well, that person you just mentioned is thinking of you. If the house drips on the first day of January, it'll be a good year for fruit. If it rains on Easter Sunday, it'll rain seven Sundays in a row. If it rains while the sun's shining, it'll rain the same time the next day. Drop your dish rag. That means somebody will come with a hole in their britches. If you spill salt, throw some over your left shoulder to ward off bad luck. Katie did will start hollering six weeks before frost. If a bird gets in the house or tries to get in the house, there'll be a death in the family. If you plant a pine tree, when it gets big enough to shade a grave, somebody will die. Now, I've also heard that about a cedar. They say if you plant an old cedar tree, 
And when it gets big enough to shade your grave, the one that planned it'll die. And here's one about bees. A swarm in May is worth a ton of hay. A swarm in June is worth a silver spoon. A swarm in July ain't worth a fly. A stitch in time saves nine. If an old dog lays halfway out the front door, facing inside in the summertime, somebody will be moving in during the fall. If old feller lays facing out, there'll be somebody moving out. Heavy shucks on corn predicts a mighty bad winter. I've heard this in a few different ways about old woolly worms. And the darker the woolly worm, the harder the winter will be. The lighter the color means it'll be an easy winter. How many rings on an old woolly worm is how many bad snows there'll be that year. If you pour your coffee left-handed, your luck will be spilled for the rest of the day. You see a bunch of old cows and things like that bunching up, huddling up. That's a sure sign of a storm. Always be aware of a dog that don't bark. However many times it storms in the fall is how many times old frogs will be hauling through glass windows. And on my last video I did on this, some of you good folks left some in the comments. Sherry Knotts wrote, Mama always said, if your nose itches, you're going to get a letter. Tony the Rock Fans wrote, I've also heard that if a bird hits the winter and dies, somebody close to you will also pass away. NV Sunshine Rush 13 wrote, Never wash clothes on the first or last day of the year, or it'll wash somebody out of your life. If you're ever in the room and somebody dies, quickly cover up the mirrors and so that keep the soul and spirit from getting trapped. Never carry a body as a loved one who's passed away in the home head first. For if they're faced to be looking inwards towards the home, they could get attached in death and not be able to cross over easy. So make sure they're always carried out feet first. Never set your purse on the floor or you'll always be broke. Debbie McWaters wrote, Drop a towel and you'll have company. We always had a big fancy dinner on Sundays, as it was believed you'd prosper during the week or be blessed. Lisa Hernandez wrote, My daddy always said, if the old dogs get to howl in the night to stop them, said they know death was a coming, that's why they was howling. And a lot of folks, they call these things signs or omens. Or even a token. Jessica Moon wrote, One I heard is you don't ever do laundry on New Year's Day or somebody you know will die. Ethan Cox wrote, Never eat at the supper table with your hat on or you die a beggar. Never step over your fishing pole whilst you're fishing or a fish won't bite. Miss Belby McKenzie wrote, Cut a persimmon seed to forecast the weather. If an image of the spoon, you're gonna have a lot of snow. If it's the image of a knife, it means it's gonna be bitter cold. And she said, if you dream of eggs and fish, 
be somebody that's going to be pregnant. I've also heard, too, that if you dream of muddy water or blood, it's a sign of something bad to come in the family or somebody you know. Donna Curtis wrote, don't ever sweep over somebody's feet or they'll have to spit on the broom to cancel the bad luck. That's some of the things folks would say back in them old days, too. They had sayings or <laughs> just about all kind of stuff. Like one, if somebody was real tall, they'd say, Oh, boy, there's a tall lord that could hunt geese with a spade. If somebody's a grin, they'd say, Oh, they're grinning like a mule eating saw brawlers. They'd say, Oh, that thing's uglier than a mud fence. Or, Lord, he's so windy he can blow up an onion sack. Or they even a blind hog could find an acre in every now and then. They said, Lord, that's slower than cold molasses. Now, six one way and half a dozen the other. Or if something was simple, they'd say, why, it's easier than falling off a log backwards. But that's just a few of them. To name, a, to name them all, we'd be here for a month Sundays. <laughs> Which, that's a nothing. But anyhow, folks, that's some more. And I hope you really enjoy it. If you doesn't know anymore, leave me in the comments, and I'll add it to the next. Well, I thank you kindly for coming in and seeing me and visiting with me for a spell. Lord knows it was a blessing to have you. If you're new, please subscribe. If you like this old video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribing, liking, sharing it all out, it's absolutely free. Go live on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. That way I can interact with you folks. Tell you some more good old stories and things. Come on in. I welcome everybody in as kin. I love you bunches. God bless you and your kin. And have a good one.